Hello, this is Adam Fisher with ExploreFinancialFreedom.com. Today I want to talk to you about central banking and why I am opposed to central banks. Now, first and foremost, what is a central bank? A central bank is a financial institution that controls the monetary policy of a nation. And they control the markets, they control the regulation. Um, and that's why I say they control the monetary policy, because by controlling the monetary policy, they control the markets. Ultimately, I would argue they manipulate the markets. When you control the marketplace, you actually control and manipulate the markets. And look at the Federal Reserve. I'm going to use the Federal Reserve as an example. The Federal Reserve is the American Central Bank. And... The Federal Reserve was established in 1913. It was the third central bank of the U.S. The Federal Reserve, since 1913, has been manipulating the system, the financial system. It has been manipulating the markets. And what has it done? What it's done is this. The booms get bigger and the busts get harder. What I mean by that is in the times of prosperity, the booms are getting bigger. They're manipulating the marketplace. They're manipulating the system so that when the economy's booming, it's booming like it's never boomed before. However, the problem is because of their manipulation, when the whole thing busts, it busts harder than it's ever busted before. And when that happens, they have to immediately start manipulating the market again to uh, counteract that. And so what happens is the central bank manipulates. They manipulate the market. The problem with manipulating the market is some people actually will argue a little manipulation is good. The problem is, and this is what I see, I hear a lot of people talk about equality. There is no equality when you have a central bank manipulating the system. Because here's why. The problem is central banks pick winners and they pick losers. It's called cronyism. You rub my back, I rub yours. They pick the winners, they pick the losers. They pick the market, they pick the part of the market they want to succeed. They pick the other market they don't want to succeed. It's manipulation, it's cronyism, and it is not freedom. If you want to truly prosper, you have to figure out a way to prosper outside of the central bank's manipulation.